Let's see how we can install the latest version of Kali Linux in April 2024 on VirtualBox. First, go to kali.org. I'll have this link in the description below and you can just click on it. And once you're here, don't click on this download button. Go to Get Kali, click on this Get Kali button here and click on Virtual Machines. Here, you'll see a bunch of options. You can download Kali Linux for VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V and all that stuff. We will download this one. Now you can just click on this and your download will start. Or what you can do is if you don't have storage left in this C drive, you can just right click here, click on save link as and download it wherever you want or wherever you have storage. So I already have this downloaded. It's in my D drive here. Uh, okay, where is it? Yeah, this is it. So I'll show you how you can install it now. Okay, so once you've downloaded this, go to wherever you've downloaded this and right click on it and click on extract all and choose where you want to extract it and I'll just leave it in the default folder click extract and let's wait till the extraction is complete finally our Kali Linux is unzipped now let's open VirtualBox I'll type VirtualBox and what we'll do is we'll right click and click on run as administrator if you're asked do you want to this app to make changes click on yes once VirtualBox is open now click on add not the new click on add and go to wherever you have extracted Kali Linux so in my case it's in volume D inside this inside this and you'll see this dot vbox here click on this and click on open and now you have this now since this is an uh, image for VirtualBox itself you don't do anything else just click on start here and your program is powering up now this vbox image have already a lot of settings here like media memory base memory and processors if you want to change it you can click on settings and you can increase your stuff here like you can increase your processor and so on but since it's powering up you cannot do it right now so you can go to system and change your base memory your processor and all that stuff if you if you'd like but i've just set that as default now let's wait till this finished powering up so yeah our machine is now opening up here okay so let's maximize this and now our Kali Linux is booting up let's wait and it will ask for username and password now we have booted up and it is asking for username and password but if you remember we have not set any username and password but the default password for this is Kali and Kali to login and now we are inside our Kali Linux. So this is how you can install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. And now as you can see, we have all the tools available here. You can click here and see all the tools are already available. And you can just play around. And let me know if you have any questions.